FPT Industrial is a worldwide powertrain manufacturer and recognized industry leader. It belongs to the CNH Industrial Organization, whilst being the main engine and powertrain supplier for a large number of on-road, off-road industrial, marine and power generation applications. All CNH Industrial brands like Iveco, Magirus, Case, Steyr, New Holland, as well as other brands use FPT Industrial engines. The headquarters are located in Turin, Italy, and the total of seven research and development centers are placed worldwide. FPT Motor Forschung is the main innovation and research center of FPT Industrial. Located here in Arbonne, Switzerland, it employs more than 200 people and includes an extensive range of testing facilities, ranging from its 33 engine test beds to other very specialized laboratories test rigs and a fully equipped CNC machine shop, allowing us to tackle the most challenging engineering tasks. Many technological innovations incorporated on today's diesel engine were invented here in Arbon, ranging from the direct diesel injection back in 1934 to the common rail development in 1988 and more recently the high ESCR concept in 2011. Today we are going to introduce you to our work on Dieper project which stands for Diesel Efficiency Improvement with Particulates and Emissions Reduction. It is funded by the European Union and the Swiss Secretariat for Education, Research and Innovation. As part of the Dieper Consortium, we are working to develop a light commercial vehicle demonstrator based on the Iveco Daily, with improved engine and exhaust acid treatment system performance. To enable emissions to be controlled to 50% of Euro 6 step D limits and an 80% reduction in particulate numbers including the 10 to 23 nanometer range. A fuel economy improvement of 5% over WLTP cycle is also required. Our tasks here at FPT are to apply new technologies on the base engine in order to reduce the greenhouse gases and emission under real driving conditions and also we are responsible of the integration and calibration of the engine and after treatment system on the demonstrator vehicle, enabling it to be tested under real driving conditions and the new cycles. The project is laid out in the following way. It has a duration of three years. There are 16 partners involved from many countries, such as United Kingdom, Switzerland, France, Italy, Spain, Austria and Germany. Two vehicle demonstrators are taking part, one passenger car and one light commercial vehicle and they will be provided to an independent research lab in order to verify the results before and after. The overall budget for Deeper is a total of 8.6 million euro and the FPT budget is 1.6 million Swiss franc. We decided to submit a proposal for this project as it gives us the opportunity to cooperate with international partners and get a better overall view whilst exchange experience and knowledge ahead of the upcoming new and strict emission legislations. Already working on new engine development means that the extra funding will help FPT to meet the product target and further enhance it. Also the development costs for such a product are tremendously high and the funding can contribute to a small fraction of the total cost. It's neither easy nor straightforward process to enter projects like this in a conventional technology sector. Existing relations with various partners is a prerequisite for entering such a consortium. Not everybody can join such projects. A record of successful funded development and good potential to complete the expected task is required. Participation in European funded projects in the past is always a good reference. We were successful in joining the project for mainly two reasons. Firstly, at FPT we are a technological leader and highly regarded in terms of our capability within the powertrain industry. And secondly, FPT is a well-known and reliable partner that can deliver to its commitments without endangering the success of the project in such a cross-functioning setup where many other partners are involved. In order to be successful in the future, we need to have a clear vision and strategy always striving for innovative solutions and thinking outside the box. Provide a product that will fulfill the requirements at a reasonable cost whilst maximizing the end customer benefit. 
As this project excluded electrification and hybridization, in the next project we submit, we would like to include these technologies. Finally, for other companies that are wishing to join a EU consortium and enter in a project like this, I would say that, first of all, it's highly recommended as the collaboration of partners can uncover important aspects and unexpected findings that would otherwise might be overlooked. Although joining an EU consortium is a commitment that has to be thoroughly planned and treated with the required significance.